Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are talking about the secrets to create beautiful interior design and renovating on a budget. I am here to prove to you that you don't have to have deep pockets to have your home be a stunning oasis. One of the best updates you can do in your kitchen that will save you a whole lot is actually to add an accent color on your cabinetry. Now painting your cabinetry yourself, if it's not done right, it doesn't always turn out well. So you really want to have a good job done and it's worth having a professional do this because painting your cabinetry is a lot cheaper than having all of it ripped out and replaced. But adding an accent color to your kitchen or even just painting your cabinetry in general can completely transform form your kitchen. I can't tell you the number of people I see online and social media that buy a new house and are like, oh, we're going to gut the kitchen and tear everything out. When in reality, they could have kept those cabinets and just painted them and they would have looked great. I also see a lot of people that take down their cabinetry because, you know, you see on TV, people take a sledgehammer and just destroy everything when they're renovating. And that's not usually how things actually happen. You can take cabinetry out by just unscrewing it. And you can then take that cabinetry and repurpose it and relay out your kitchen using the same cabinets and paint them to create a major difference in your space. I think painting some of those cabinets or even doing a two-tone, a three-tone, maybe you do a wood and a painted kitchen and mixing those things together can elevate a space and make it look so luxurious and beautiful and really, really make it look brand new and fresh without having to completely gut your kitchen and renovate it, which you know, cost a fortune. And just remember, if you've got beautiful wood cabinets that are maybe starting to show their age a little bit, you can always have them refinished instead of just having them repainted. Whether you're updating your kitchen or renovating your home, you're decorating, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me to get my opinions on what you should do if you're needing a little bit of help. You can go to intro.co slash Garrett Lachic or use the link in the description box down below to book a consultation with me. Something else you can do in a kitchen that immediately makes it look so much more luxurious and beautiful and expensive without having to gut renovate anything is add a backsplash. So many new homes are built and they just have a splash back. That's a little three inch piece of countertop material that's there, take that off and tile. And you know, tiling is not for everybody. That might be another job to have professionally done in your home because who do I look like using a saw to cut tile? I cut my hand off and that's not what anybody wants because they're kind of gorgeous, not the point. Having a backsplash added in your kitchen can immediately transform the space and make it look so beautiful. My recommendation when looking for a backsplash material is to look for something similar to your countertops in tone and color and variation. It creates the illusion you have a slab backsplash that is so popular today without having to shell out the money for what is essentially two to three times more countertop than you actually need. I think a tiled backsplash is great. You can look for something that's the same material with different shapes or cut lines in it, all sorts of different things that I think are beautiful on a backsplash. But that's one of the things in your home where you don't have to gut or rip anything out. You could just add something in that looks luxurious and beautiful and elevates the space. We're stepping away from the kitchen and we're gonna head into the rest of the house. And one of my favorite things to do in a home, one of the things you can immediately do to create a big impact is to paint your trim. And you don't just have to repaint it the same color. I'm not saying paint it all white. You can have so much fun with the trim in your home by painting it in actual color. Take the color of your walls and paint the trim the same thing to create a monochromatic look and feel. Obviously, if you have white walls and white trim, you're already there. But if you have blue, green, purple, or pink walls, you can paint the trim that same color and the ceiling and it'll look fantastic and be so interesting. You can also take your trim and paint it an accent color. If you've got a really fun moment in your house, you have an accent wall or a wallpaper, you can take one of the tones out of that and paint all of your trim that color to immediately create depth and character in a space that says something about your personality. It's so much fun and can really, really make the beautiful trim in your home stand out and pop in a really gorgeous way. I would pretty much have all of these things professionally done, but painting your trim can immediately elevate your home and make it look so fantastic and so customized without really having to do much change. You don't have to tear down any walls or replace your floors. The trim is already there and painted 
painting it could make a big difference. Something I love in a home that you can do that does not have to cost a lot of money, does not require a ton of renovation, is to add a bold feature. I love a feature. I love a focal point, a statement moment in a home, and you can do that without doing much renovating. You could do that with paint. You could do that with furniture, accessories, decor, artwork. Bold features are so beautiful in a home, and I think everyone needs one. A bold feature could be a bold color in a room. In one of my spaces, my dining room, that you can see from my front door, I have it painted a bold and vibrant blue tone to really bring some personality into my home. But you might sit there and say, you know what, I don't wanna paint my walls. I wanna paint my ceiling, paint it black, paint it pink, paint it purple, whatever you wanna do, that's such a great bold feature. Paint the hearth of your fireplace an interesting color to make it stand out and pop in your space, or look into having some of that window trim painted black to really bring in the view. A bold feature in a home is a great way to have so much fun, but you might not be in a situation where you're painting everything. Maybe you're renting your space and you're like, Garrett, I'm not renovating the kitchen, I'm not painting all the walls black. Add a big, oversized piece of artwork or a giant mirror to take in a gorgeous view. I love that for you and a big piece of art or a big mirror can really make a bold statement in your home without painting or renovating or doing anything really. I think that's fantastic. But you know what else would be bold? A bold change in your life? Hitting the subscribe button and joining us, becoming a part of the Los Chic family and elevating your home and your life by joining us. And after you've hit that subscribe button, be sure you give this video a like. A great renovation you can do to your home that yes is bold and adds character and personality but does not have to cost a fortune is adding trim on your wall. Yes, we talked about painting trim, but you can add an interesting wall detail without spending a ton of money. You could do applied moldings. These are very classic and very timeless, but they can actually serve as a really interesting focal point or statement juxtaposition in a modern space. Or you could look at something a little more classic like a board and batten or a Tudor style paneling. All of these are beautiful in a home. And if you're doing them painted, well, you could just get MDF and do it, and that's so inexpensive and looks really beautiful. These statement moments, these focal points are gorgeous because they add character, they add detail, they add a layer to your space, which we all want and need. Now, this is not for somebody that is just gonna eyeball it and try and get it up there. You want things to be done really well and level and looking good. So if that's not something that you can do, you want to have it professionally done so you get the best finish possible. But in the grand scheme of things, this is not that expensive. And I think it can make a really big difference in your home, especially if it's painted and you want it to fade into the background and be a muted element, a moment, a layer and detail in your space. That's really gorgeous. But you could also paint it so it really pops and stands out and makes a bold statement and impact. I love applied molding and trim on walls of any sort because I think it just is a beautiful classic reference that can make such a statement in a home in a very subtle way. Something I love in a home is one of the most underutilized spaces and that's your ceiling. I love a good ceiling moment. I love a statement, a focal point. I love a painted ceiling. I think all of that's great. But what you can do to your ceiling that doesn't require you, you know, pretending to be Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel on your back, holding a roller up, uh, is something really great. And that's adding a ceiling medallion. I think these are beautiful and does require an electrician's assistance. They have to take down your light fixture and put it back up, but a ceiling medallion, oh, is the moment, is a statement, it's a focal piece, it's a standout moment. And that's something you could actually do even if you're renting, you know, get your landlord's approval to add that up there and it can make a really big difference in the feeling of a space because it's just a gorgeous little statement moment right there by your light fixture. And I think that's beautiful. It adds a certain elegance and a little flair to a space, whether that's a modern, a contemporary space or something a little more traditional. Ceiling medallions come in all sorts of sizes and styles that you can find online. Yes, you can get beautiful, high quality, originally designed plaster ones, which are beautiful and a little more expensive. Or you could go the more affordable route and get the foam or carved ones that, yes, are a little more budget friendly, but hey, they're not original to your house anyway. So maybe you don't need the giant plaster ones to begin with. And you can find some of those linked in my Amazon storefront down below. A ceiling medallion is great, but I really love it when you do something interesting on top of that, like painting your ceiling or 
painting the medallion. Oh, that's such a statement moment. You could paint it black for a really moody, elegant look, or you could paint it a fun color to accent something in your space and make another reference point, which you know I love when it comes to color. Ceiling medallions are great, and they don't have to be nailed in or screwed in or whatever. Usually it's just, you put a little bit of construction adhesive or some caulk on it, and it just stays up there. You pinch it in with the light fixture, and you're good to go. I have some in my home that I absolutely adore and I think a ceiling medallion is great for any and every space. Let's talk about something you see every time you enter your home that you can do so much with for very little. That's your front door. I love a statement front door moment. I painted my front door black because I wanted it to pop and stand out and I love the classics. But you can have so much fun with your front door. It doesn't have to be painted black. I have a black and white staircase, so it just made sense for the door to also be black. But in your home, you could paint your front door yellow or blue or pink or red. Red's a little aggressive for me, but if you have a craftsman, it could actually look really beautiful. If you have a great wood front door, I would not paint it because personally I would rather have a wood front door than something else. But if you've got a metal front door that is just like a humdrum basic kind of color, paint it something gorgeous, bring some personality into it, and it is so much fun. Fun, that's a great place to have fun with your home because that's where guests enter your home. That's the first thing they see, but it's also something you see in your space when you're welcoming someone. It's so nice to invite them in and share with them that yes, I have a personality. Yes, I'm an interesting person and here's the color of my front door. That's a great moment to have so much fun with. A front door can be a really great focal point, a statement moment. You can make a bold color choice and I love that too, but you wanna paint both sides of that door because you wanna see it as well as have everybody outside your house see it. And it's also nice if you live on a street full of a bunch of the same houses, you can be like, my house is the non-boring one with the fun and interesting colored front door and I love that for me. I love that for you and I love that for everybody. I think it's so much fun. I love a painted front door and all it, all it really costs is the cost of paint and a paintbrush and you know maybe some of the draping and taping material but i think that's fantastic it makes a huge difference to have that statement moment right on the front of your home and in your foyer of course i think a painted front door is just gorgeous and something worth considering it can be a major renovation without a very big cost. What I will say is that if you live in a neighborhood with an HOA, you do want to get approvals. You don't want to get trouble, get snatched or caught up in any of that stuff. And I also would invite you not to be the neighbor that paints their house or their front door a hideous color because everybody else also has to look at it and you don't want to alienate all your neighbors now, do you? Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you let me know and share with me in the comment section down below. I also wanna hear from you. Share with me one renovation or update you did to your home that made the world of difference, but was pretty inexpensive because we all wanna hear from you. I also know that you know someone that their home could maybe use a little bit of renovating, but they're on a budget. Share this video with them because friends help friends. And if you're looking for anything else you need to know, be sure you check out this video right over here, all about some interior design quick fixes that will elevate your home. And I will see you over there.